the King of Peace sat one day with all of the children of the island. He foretold of a crying crowd of men coming soon, but not to worry. And with that they returned to playing. The King's advisor told him of the approaching boats filled with men with hearts beyond evil from hell. The king ordered the people of the kingdom to prepare a feast and the menu was very exact with many cooked chickens, geese and pheasant. The children were to collect all of the flowers The kingdom gathered and made merry. There was dancing and singing, but not for the king. He sat with his advisers and chieftains of many clans. The king told them, gather the fat of the bird, along with all of the flowers of the kingdom. The boys of the kingdom were tasked by their fathers to pace the fat around the grass on the bottom of all the trees as they could before tire and the girls tasked by their mothers to collect every flower they could before tire this will draw in the lions he told them The men and women of the clans were told that all trails of flowers must lead back to the king's castle. After it was done and the king asked of what was wanted from the people, he sat alone in his tower, door wide open. In the distance he heard a roar, slowly but surely getting closer. Then, face to face, with their minds they spoke of these men of evil from hell. As the king was king in his kingdom, the lion was also in his. And where land and bounty were of man, the lions needs not. He agreed a lions, and upon the agreement, a one-horned, beautiful white horse entered the castle. The king had felt this, but had never seen such a thing of beauty. She told him she was a unicorn. The lion had dominion over the beasts of the kingdom and the unicorn had dominion over the fairy realm. Not with force, but with love and courage. Combined, the evil men's boats were fast approaching and upon landing, they had to deal with the attacks of the midges and wasps for the lack of flowers in the land. In their torment, the king advised the clan chieftains only to watch these evil men suffer in absolute torment of the attacking midges and wasps before a charge, running them in agony back to their boats. The king knew that to know the minds of such evil men he would have to meditate and think of the exact opposite of his nature, not only his human nature but nature itself. His kingdom was like no other and it had always been protected and prosperous by his divine governance by God and his law of seven whereupon everything 
in his kingdom whereof seven, like where the flowers were all picked, seven would grow back in their place. These evil men fled this time. The king knew his people must have peace and worked on a plan of integration. For his kingdom, seven virgin sons of chosen virgin daughters, all of the clans, would all have the kingdom to remain protected and prosperous by wedlock and love and bearing seven more sons and seven more daughters. Now with the devil at the kingdom's gates, or was his land and culture again like nature to suffer by barbarians looting, raping and pillaging?